Hello and welcome back to my channel. To those watching my video for the first time, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Olu Wale Samson Anthony and here on this channel, I talk about topics on physical health, mental health and self-help. Please do well to subscribe to my channel. So today I'll be talking about schizophrenia, what it is, symptoms, causes, risk factors and of course treatments of schizophrenia so let's get started what is schizophrenia schizophrenia is a chronic psychiatric disorder that occurs in men and women of all ages people with this disorder usually experience distortions of reality often in the forms of hallucinations and delusions now the symptoms of schizophrenia are divided into four they are early symptoms of schizophrenia, positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia. Note that positive and negative symptoms in this sense have an entirely different connotation. Positive symptoms of schizophrenia refers to added thoughts or actions to one's typical experience. On the other hand, Negative symptoms of schizophrenia refers to the absence of typical behaviors. So let's talk about the early symptoms of schizophrenia. Some of the early symptoms of schizophrenia include vague suspiciousness, feeling different from others, difficulty in performing schoolwork or poor academic performance, isolation from friends and family, changing friends or social group, irritability and agitation the positive symptoms of schizophrenia are divided into three they are hallucinations delusions and paranoia what is hallucination hallucination is an experience that appears real but is only created by your mind for example hearing things smelling things and seeing things that people around you do not experience can be said to be hallucination. What is delusion? Delusion occurs when a person believes in something despite facts and evidence to the contrary. And paranoia. Paranoia is a situation whereby a person is unusually and extremely distrustful of others. Now, the negative symptoms of schizophrenia include trouble experiencing problem and pleasures the trouble completing daily activities and lack of emotion and expressions and poor or odd emotional responses to situations now the cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia are so called because they have to do with how a person thinks. Some of the cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia include forgetfulness, difficulty learning information and using it, and disorganized thinking or speech. Now, the causes of schizophrenia. There is no known cause of schizophrenia, but scientists and researchers have linked it to be genetic, biological, and environmental. When an imaging test was carried out on people with schizophrenia, scientists observed an abnormality in certain structures in their brain. So the risk factors of schizophrenia. Since there is no known cause of schizophrenia, Scientists have likened it to be genetic. Therefore, the major risk factor of schizophrenia is family history of schizophrenia. If a member in your family has had schizophrenia, chances are that you will develop schizophrenia at one point in your life or the other. Other risk factors of schizophrenia include using mind-altering drugs and living in a highly stressful situation and exposure to viruses, toxins, 
and also malnutrition before birth or during infancy can all lead to schizophrenia. So the treatment of schizophrenia. Treatment of schizophrenia is aimed at managing the symptoms of schizophrenia. There are basically four treatments of schizophrenia. Number one, medications. Antipsychotic medications help to manage hallucinations and delusions. Two, vocational rehabilitation. This is aimed at helping individuals to manage their illness and return back to work. Vocational rehabilitation can also assist individuals with schizophrenia in maintaining a regular job easier. We have the third treatment of schizophrenia, which is psychosocial intervention. This is individual therapies to help individuals to manage the stress and illness. Also, social training can also help to boost social and communication skills. And lastly, we have family support and education. For people with schizophrenia, having family members around to support them tends to ease the um, severity of the illness. Also, there are family educational programs out there that help family members to spot the symptoms of schizophrenia. So we've come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your family and friends. I love you and I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye.